Should I include my cat in my collection? Because she's literally Luna. Her name is Edie, actually. Not Luna, but I didn't want to be that basic. Okay, you guys. So, this has been requested on my Instagram because I talk about how much, like, how obsessed I am with Sailor Moon. And I'm finally going to do a collection, like, 2018 video showing you guys um kind of where my collection is now when i started collecting where i got some of my stuff how long i've had it yeah i guess let's just hop right into the video i guess like a little um bio i have been obsessed with sailor moon since i was like five and i'm not even gonna like pretend it's almost like kind of unhealthy it holds like a very um, sentimental meaning to me. It has always had like a really special place in my heart. Plus, she's a Cancer like me, and I just resonated really hard with her. Yeah, I'm like a true Sailor Moon stan. I don't even try to hide it anymore. Like, I'm a weeb. I don't care. I have a lot of stuff. I'm like surrounded by it all, and I'm like giddy. <laughs> I guess I'll start with my plushies since I don't have a lot of plushies. So this is my Luna doll. I got her a couple years ago at a, like a movie store. Luna is like my girl. I have a black cat in real life too. These are vintage. Uh, this is a Sailor Mars and this is Sailor Moon, obviously. These, <laughs> so I'm a part of this Facebook group that sells and trades like Sailor Moon merchandise. Um, I'm telling y'all like this is no joke. Like I'm very serious about this. Just, I just got these actually like a couple months ago because I just started getting into collecting vintage memorabilia again. For a while I was just like buying things from like Hot Topic and stuff because I'm fake. I actually just finished Crystal and for a really long time I was such a 90s Sailor Moon stan. I was like Crystal is fake. Like, I'm not about it but I just watched Crystal and it's so good. I, I really, really love the 90s memorabilia. So these are my two vintage plushies. So my plushies are done. Oh, okay. So I have the manga. The only ones I'm missing are 8 and 12. Uh, the first six were a gift from one of my coworkers when she was leaving. She was like, I know you love Sailor Moon and I'm trying to get rid of some stuff, so I'm gonna gift you the first six. And then I got seven on my own. Then I found nine, 10, 11 at a uh, used bookstore. I have one of the Sailor Moon short stories. I don't have the other one yet. And then I have the two Sailor B comics, which were a gift from my lovely roommate. So those are my manga. I usually have these in my bathroom. I took them down to like show y'all. Okie dokie. So next I'll just show you my Funko collection. I don't have a lot of Funkos. I'm poor and like I can't afford everything. So first I have um, Sailor Moon and Sailor Mini Moon and Sailor Moon came with a little baby Luna. I just recently took these out of the box. I was like such a hardcore like keep your collectibles in the box. I'm never gonna get rid of these. They go up on like these little shelves that I have and the boxes wouldn't fit. So I had to take them out of the box. She keeps falling off. I have Mars and um, Mercury. Uh, those are the only other Sailor Scouts I have. I haven't gotten Jupiter, like literally any of the other ones yet. So this was from a friend. And this one I picked up after work one day because I made really good tips. And I was like, I'm gonna treat myself. Oh my God, the stamps keep coming off. Okay, and then the last one, last Funko I have, I'm really excited about. I got it at weirdly enough an antique store but that was also uh, like a toy collector store and the guy who owned the place like goes to cons all the time he buys them in like big old things so i got sailor v at like a super discounted price so i'm really excited i love her outfit she wears a crop top because she's styling i'm a sailor v stan um so yeah those are all my funkos uh, I also have these two little figurines. Um, I haven't taken these out of the box yet because I don't know why. My other two figurines. And then I have a little petite Charis here. So she's really cute. Focus, please. I lost the Luna. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. I'm fake. Oh, my legs are. Hang on. I gotta sit. <sighs> my. Feet hurt! 
Look. Behind me is a poster that a friend of mine gave me for my birthday. Yeah, she usually hangs up right when you walk in to my room. She's like the first thing you see. I also have a couple more. I guess I could show y'all. My room's really messy. I have a couple more posters. There's one. And then there's one right here. Those are both bootleg. And I didn't feel like untapping them from my walls. So I didn't. What's next? Oh, okay. So this is pretty fun. I, I got her off eBay. She is an original adventure doll. She is by Irwin Toys. I used to have all of these when I was a kid. And then... I don't know what happened to them. So I'm like kind of starting to rebuild that collection. So she comes with her little wand. She has a creepy little face. Ah, she's still in the box. I'm not gonna take her out because I don't, I just don't want to. I like the box. This is a like little piggy bank I found at a swap meet once. Right now I hold like random jewelry that I don't wear. Actually, this is kind of cool. I'm just gonna take this out real quick. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a stick on earring that has Sailor Saturn on it. And that's definitely bootleg because she's like pink and she's not supposed to be pink. But I thought that was really cool. She's like, ah, she just came off. That's like a fun little secret part of my collection. <laughs> okay, what I'm about to show you is like my holy grail. She is like the most valuable thing in my collection. And I've had her since I was literally, I think, six but it's my Sailor Moon clock. She doesn't have a bottom. She still works though, and she has removable wings, and her little pigtails go crazy. And she sings a little song. I guess I'll play it for you. Come on, girl. Don't be shy. Wake us up. Girl, hang on. So yes, she is my favorite part of the collection. I'm never getting rid of her. I don't know where I got her. I've had her literally for so long. It's raining outside, so, but I really like this lighting because it softens you. Okay, I'm just hoping that the lighting is just gonna work itself out. My highlight, good. Okay, I have this pack of playing cards that I haven't opened yet because uh, I don't want the cards to get bent. So I don't know what the designs are on the cards, but I'm guessing they're probably Sailor Moon, but I just got these off Amazon. Um, yeah. So this is like, been in my makeup bag. So the picture's kind of fucked up. This is like a really cute highlighter I got from Tooth & Nail Cosmetics. Um, ah! Um. Ah! <laughs> she broke in! Shoot! Okay, you literally can't even see, but she's like pink. And she's really cute. Wow, what a great swatch, Maddie. You should be a beauty guru. She smells really good. I don't really use her a lot because, like, it kind of goes on, like, like a literal color. Um, I just bought her because it has Rainy on it. Or Chibi Usa, sorry. Fake. Um, ah! So, yeah. Well, I lied. My clock is one of my favorite things. It's the one I've had the longest. But if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. I just bought this on that Facebook site that I'm a part of. I have been searching for this for literally years, like 10 plus years. They're always really expensive and I really didn't care if it was in the box or anything like that. I just wanted one that worked. Didn't even really care if it was like in perfect condition. The Cutie Moon Rod from um, Irwin Toys. This was made, in, this is from 2000. And this is her Cutie Moon Rod. It's in, I think, R, say I'm an R. My God, please don't kill me. I'm a fake stan. All you real stans out there, please let me know. I'm pretty sure this is R. So she works. So yeah, she like lights up. 
had this when I was a little girl and I lost it and I've literally been searching for it ever since and I got it at a pretty good price. Uh, and I love her. Honestly, like after I got her, I kind of stopped binging on my collecting for a little while. Like I took a little break because this was one of like my holy grail items and something that I've really been wanting. And then after I got it, I was like, okay, I can like, take a break. Um, so I have a lot of Sailor Moon socks, but I didn't feel like getting them all out. So I got these Luna socks off Amazon and they came in like a bunch of different colors. These Sailor Scout socks and they came with like all the Sailor Scouts but I can't find them all. Okay, mom got me these socks. I, this one has, um, oh my God, I'm fake and I forgot what this wand is. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Rini's heart moon rod. Pretty sure. Um, you can read me in the comments if you want because I didn't prepare. I didn't do my research before I did this, but it's whatever. This, this pair of socks, it just has her, uh, Sailor Moon's, um, bow thing so those are all my socks Sailor Moon socks I have this keychain that broke I need to fix it but it's her Luna pen um I'm a real um beauty guru here's my Luna pen actually I'll just I'll show you my keychains now all I have on this is my house key everything else is keychains I have a little like human luna her moon fell off and her paint is coming off because i've had her for a long time but i love human luna these are patches that i've collected this is my favorite one because um i have a tattoo of it i'll show y'all so i have a sailor moon tattoo um and this is like an original like little bunny that's like in the manga somewhere if you look in the little like side margins of the Sailor Moon manga. There's always cute little like here. Always Naoko always puts like little like bunnies in there and stuff like that because Usagi means bunny. So there's a theme the bunny. I got this little handmade patch off Etsy. I will link it in the description if it's still available, but she's really cute. I haven't stuck these on anything yet because, um, I don't know where I want to stick them yet. I also have a Luna patch, um, the Crisis Compact, and then I also have a little Mars symbol patch. So those are my patches. Oh my god, I never showed you my keychains because I'm fake. So I got these off Amazon a while ago. Um, all the Sailor Scouts fell off except for Jupiter and uh, Sailor Moon. And then this one is all the Outer Scouts if she wants to focus. So there's Uranus, Pluto, Neptune, and Chibi Usa, Mini Moon. This is a fake ass video. None of y'all can even see what this shit look like. My lips are so crusty. <laughs> and then I have another okay so i got this backpack like in high school i got it off ebay but she like broke but i just hang her up and what's inside is my really like obscure like parts of my collection <laughs> these are from japan they're little cupcake toppers there's not like a lot of detail on them in fact her face is kind of terrifying i'll take a photo of it and like i'll put it right here and it comes in this cute little bag and there's like a bunch of them in here am i ever gonna use them no but i have them so well, i got these on depop they're big af and i don't know what to do with them i'm afraid to stick them because like i never like want to lose them but they're so pretty and i love that they're like the manga like artwork and i'm obsessed did we know that I'm obsessed with Sailor Moons? And they're hollow. I am a hollow sexual, so simply no logical if you're watching this, but. Peep the hollow. Oh, I have this magnet that I got at a comic book store once, like a few years ago. Cool. This is actually like the last of my. Oh, it's not, I have more. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, I got these off eBay. They're just like paper dolls um that i could open if i wanted to but i'm not going to i have this one this one has one of the amazon quartet both of these fake 
And then this one has another Amazon Quartet in there and Hotaru. This one's like a hos no, this one's a bakery. This one is a hospital and it has Mars, Chibi Chibi, and Sailor Moon. Sorry, I keep thinking that it's over and it's not. This is a backpack. My cat peed on it, so <laughs> love her. Here, I got it from Hot Topic. My purse that I bring with me everywhere is Luna. The inside is really cute. I have my Sailor Moon compact. It's a mirror. Um, I use this all the time. I got these at Spencer's. They're just like pint glasses. This one has Sailor Moon on it. This one has Luna on Artemis. And I am so fake because I actually, I have another Sailor Moon thing, but I don't feel like going to get it. It's a little tumbler and it has Sailor Moon on it. I have a blanket. My really good friend got this for me. So um, it just means a lot to me. Honestly, all my stuff means a lot to me. I'm never getting rid of any of it. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad in this video. Like I'm a really, I'm a fake YouTuber. Like I'm not, I'm not real. So this one is like, she's just a little handmade bunny. She smells like lavender. I thought she was a lot bigger when I ordered her. But she's Sailor Moon inspired, so I'm including her in the video. Okay, this is a really, really cute, uh, like, little postcard I got and framed from an Etsy seller. I'll, I'll link her in the description. I don't know if y'all know, like, those Sunny Angel dolls. They're, like, those little naked cutie dolls. So she made, like, little Sailor Moon versions of them, and I thought it was so cute. They're a little, like, naked, and there's a Luna and a tuxedo mask, and... I, I actually totally forgot I had these. I was like getting ready to stop filming and I was thinking, I was like, do I have anything else? And I do! <laughs> so these are like trading cards. They're from 1995, super vintage. They have like cute little like trivia on the back. If my gosh dang camera would focus. Yeah, so they just have cute little facts. This one has Sailor V on the front. Um, I actually literally know what episode this is from. This is the one where Venus comes where they meet her for the first time. This cutie one. And this one has like a Sailor Moon quiz on the back. That really is the end of my collection. I know for a fact I don't have anything else. And I swear to God, if I like start walking in my house and I find something else, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> yeah, so that's my video. Um, if y'all wanna see more, I collect a lot of things. I'm like low-key kind of a hoarder. I have a small like Care Bear collection and I collect vintage um, like kitschy figurines and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if... If y'all want to see more, just let me know. I'm like, I'm kind of interesting, I guess. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want. I don't know, like, I don't know how consistent I'm going to be. But, yeah, this was a lot of fun to make. I'm glad I finally sat down and, like, did it. Yeah, I guess that's the end of the video, so. Bye.